Oh my gosh, you're just exactly perfect where you are. How does she look, you guys? Yeah. <laughs> She's a race car driver. Good morning. Good morning. Dave Stoll, hi. Hey, uh, well, hey this, is, this has been my little buddy ever since she was six years old. I ran into her. Six? Six years old. You've she, known Dave since he was six? No, since <laughs> I was six. Yeah, right, exactly. And she used to run out of Qualcomm Stadium with the San Diego Karting Association. Yeah. So and the go-karts. Yeah, and I would watch her. I'd watch her go slow. Yeah. And then pass all the boys. <laughs> and then she'd slow down and she'd pass it. And then she'd come <laughs> over to me and she'd get on radio. She'd grab her microphone. She goes, yeah, rah, rah, rah. she would. Oh, she go, was talking smack. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. I was, I was a character. I would, every time he would come, I would grab the mic and we would always have conversations. He'd always give me a hard time. He'd be like, you're sandbagging the boys again, aren't you? And we just have a laugh about it. Yeah. That so. is just awesome. So I've been so, following so her career. Yes. Correct. And I've been following her career. She's out at state right now. She's getting a degree in finance. But this has been her passion. Her dad and her whole family have been behind her a mm -hmm. thousand, thousand percent. I guess percent. you would have to, right? Yeah. Well, either that or what father gives their daughter a 150 horsepower <laughs> Porsche and say, go out there and win with this thing? Because this is not the fastest car on the planet. Well, no, but I would say that's one cool dad. That is really that cool. That is one he cool dad. He is a cool dad. dad. Yeah. So uh, you, you know, now you ran last season, and you ran with the Porsche Club of, uh, of America. So yeah, last season I ran with Porsche Club of America, their racing series, and that was actually my rookie year with this car. So I did a bit of like time trialing before, and my first year I won six out of the 12 races and podiumed 11 out of 12. Wow, so, so you're on the podium 11 out of 12 times. Wow. That is That's a pretty okay. darn good record. So what's the uh, Alitalia? So this is a livery from an old rally car. Uh -huh. It was back in the 60s and we really liked the design so we threw it on the car and uh, we have the number 747 as a reference to the plane so we, we kind of had a joke about that. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, and then the sponsor for the car is Black Forest so they do all our all the repairs and all the work on the car. So that's a lot of where our success comes from. And that's a lot of money and that's a lot of time and effort. So big thank you to those yeah. guys, right? Absolutely. So yeah, thank Black you to Forest. everybody at Black Forest. Black Forest. Let's take a look inside and sure, show, show us. Ahead and show open us it up. Come on, John. Let's take a look inside and show us how you do your thing here. So did, oh, and the look, door actually the door opens. opens on this yeah. one. Yeah. So in here we have your standard um, racing steering wheel. We have the seat and a lot of the inside is stripped out just because of weight reasons. And right. So it's a pretty simple interior, but always effective. Always effective. So and the, ro the roll cage obviously makes you feel comfortable, right? Yeah. So you have your standard roll cage and then we have our harnesses to keep us in. And then you have the cool suit system down here. So when we run longer races, we have you know, cold, cold water flowing through. Oh, nice. Um, so there's a cooling system. Yes. Oh, that's really, so, really cool. Yeah. So now you're going to run again yeah. uh, this season? Yeah, so this season we're planning, there's four races, so we're planning to to redo all our accolades. So um, this year, this season, I won um, Worker's Choice Award and then um, two Hard Charger Awards, which is the person <laughs> who makes up the most um, positions and then hopefully um, a contender to win uh, Rookie of the Year. Wow. So, yeah. See, and what did so. I tell you about that sandbagging? That worked, didn't it? Oh That's it. Hard yeah. charger, hard so. charger. Hard charging. I yeah. love that. I absolutely love that. So now, how'd you get this thing over here? On a trailer? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you trailered this thing over. Where's your pops? He's inside. He's camera shy. Yeah, he's he camera, shy. camera shy. Yeah, he don't want to he's, come out. He's truly the man behind the curtain. Should have brought, should have brought her sisters because her sisters are. Are they little, racers? Well, she has no. one that's a little firecracker. Yeah, oh, they're, they're personalities. Just colorful, so. huh? <laughs> Color they they love to talk. So what's the plan? So obviously you're off to a really, really good start for any race car driver. Right. But as a, a woman. Uh, do you get more attention? What, what is the reaction to you? Um, so with PCA, because this is a real macho manly yeah. kind of a sport, you know. With with PCA, I am the only girl racer in the series, but I don't really, you know, the car doesn't know if you're a man or a woman, and you know, I think I do earn a lot of respect. But I mean, I don't really see it that way. I'm just a racer trying to trying to beat everybody and try to do my best. Yeah. So, but I so you just in there, just hard charging. Yeah. And, and you don't care who's next to you. She would rather be recognized to Lynn St. James than that other person, the DP lady. We don't want to talk about her. I don't even know what you're talking about. Danica Patrick. Danica Patrick. Oh, Danica. Yeah, we, she's nowhere close. This, this girl's so far <laughs> superior to Danica Patrick. But Lynn St. James, yes. would you not agree? Oh, Lynn St. James is a race car Phenomenal. driver. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that was a trendsetter back I was going to bust day. out the Danica because I it's the only would. female yeah. race car driver I, I see? know. And that's what we were right? talking about earlier. Yeah. That was what we were talking about earlier. So that's why I do what I do. That's why I've been bringing her on. I make her get up early in the morning <laughs> because there are women out there that are superior. 
courier drivers. Yes. And I'm not bagging on Danica. I'm not saying because it's hard to be, what, 15th place in a NASCAR <laughs> race? I mean, that's not easy to do. No. <laughs> you could do it. Better. Out of 15. Out of 15. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't going to go there. I wasn't going to hey, go man, there. Hey, man, don't slam her. She's done good. I and know, I done, know, I know. Don't you think she's done a lot for the racing for women, though? She has. I mean, to at least be an example? She has. I mean, with all the promotion and, you know, how well she's done in some of her series, I think she is a pretty good, you know, role model just because yeah. this is a sport where, you know, women don't tend to to go towards but I think it's amazing how you know in the last couple of years we've seen a big change of a lot of women you know m making that transition and yeah. and racing cars and doing yeah. that look so at NHRA NHRA is a prime example there's more oh, yeah. female riders in NHRA on motorcycles mo uh, 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 funny cars and top fuel dragsters than any other sport so if anybody was to really promote women it's NHRA because they start off with the junior drag racing not unlike her starting off with San Diego Karting Association. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that the NHRA puts these kids under their wing and run with them, right. where the karting industry, it's not quite as, as Okay, organized. a couple things. You still sure. riding carts? Um, not anymore. I no transitioned carts. to this every once in a while but for fun, but just not, for fun. Yeah. not competitive. And then ultimately, what is the goal? Is it to be standing up there where, uh, up on the podium with the NASCAR boys? Oh, that would be great. Or I'm maybe more, even Formula I'm, One? Uh, yeah, I'm more of a Formula One There you gal, go. She still but... wants to race for Ferrari. <laughs> She's wanted to race for Ferrari since she was six. Do you hear that, Ferrari? And if you look at the colors, <laughs> the colors are even kind of These are Ferrari Italian Ferrari Everything, colors. If you yeah. look at the back of the helmet, you have the prancing horse, which is the symbol your of Ferrari. Ferrari horse. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so so. You're, you're setting the table is what you're doing. Oh, yeah. You, you are know, setting the table. I'm, I'm letting them know. If you have, you know, if you need a co-driver, I'm, I'm available. <laughs> wow. No. Well, Isabella, send this tape to the, to the Ferrari group. We'll fix them. Up. Isabella, this is awesome. Thank and, you. And uh, so when did I meet you? Like years ago. And you yeah, were only like this big driving the, the go-karts. Last time I was here, I just just come back from France so I, oh. I won um, I was top American driver and top female and I came 16th in the world my so, gosh in the yeah. world Wow. Right here in San Diego. What a treasure. I'm telling Isabella, you. you are awesome. And thank Black Forest once again, right? Yeah, thank That's you, it. Black Forest. Thanks they're the, Black the ones Forest. who make this car competitive. So, right. And all my family and friends. So, cool. yeah, they're they're the uh, they're behind the scenes that uh, make everything happen. And Dad, Dad's uh, Dad. Dad's uh, crew hiding. chief. Crew chief. Bank of Dad. Bank of, bank of Dad, yeah. Um, he's the PR, PR. PR. So he's really the one who's, you know, helped make this successful. Well, that's, so. that, you know, that's what it takes, that's right? Yeah. It, takes, it, it, it takes a complete commitment by your family to do this guy. You know, whether you're a soccer player, baseball player, swimmer, whatever. The Tiger and Woods and race car driver. Yeah. And the Tiger Woods and motorsports. Some good rivalry between us two, too. He used to race, so he oh. always he always bags on me if I don't do well enough. So. <laughs> Elizabeth wants to come oh, out and say hello. There you go. Come on out, she girl. To come out and say hello I to you. I want to be able to shake Girl your power. hand and say, <laughs> I you. met her. I met Isabella. You're amazing. Right, yeah. You. We, we, you had a segment that we had done with her, but yeah. I keep bringing her up through there. But I love it. Yeah, How old are you now? It's so good to see 19. you. You're 19 now. Mm -hmm. All right, so, very good. Yeah. So, Ferrari, Look she's, out. she's ready. <laughs> she is ready to race for Ferrari, right? Oh, yeah. Just You're ready. <laughs> whenever call, I'm there, you yeah. know, and right. I'll kick everybody's butt, too, so you don't yeah. have to worry about that. I can attest to about. that, too. Trust me. Trust We love it. Isabella, thanks so much. Thank you. Give it to KUSI, goodbye, Wade. Bye, thank you. Thank you, Dave Stahl. You're more than Thanks, Pops. He's so nice, <laughs> yeah, by the way. Pops. Your dad is awesome.